Good afternoon. My name is Matthew Beard. I'm the General Sales Manager at Snow Sayat Pool. Um, following on from our recent video of the new Sayat Leon, this is a video of the new infotainment system which is fitted to the new Sayat Leon. On the first video, unfortunately, the, the car hadn't had its pre delivery inspection carried out. This car, however, has had its pre delivery inspection carried out. Uh, so I'm just going to start it up. So the first point is the car's got a full digital cockpit. So what we're looking at ahead of us is the instrument binnacle. If I can get the camera to focus on it. So let's start the car up. Okay, so at the moment we have got various pieces of information displayed in front of us. Um, over here on the left, we have got uh, the fuel range. In the middle, we have got the speedometer. And over here on the right hand side, is uh, what the radio is currently tuned into. At the top we've got the exterior temperature, front assist system, uh, the clock and also the auto tiredness system that you might be able to see there and just below it now that's popped up is the current um, uh, speed limit where we are. The car's also telling us that we are currently in park because this particular car is automatic. So we've got the very latest um, automatic gear selector, which effectively is a electronic switch. So if I pull it back, it will engage the car to drive. Once I pull up and I want to put the car back into park, I simply press the P button at the top. It will knock the car out of drive and put it into park. So moving on back to our uh, digital cockpit, this is primarily controlled by these switches over here on the steering wheel. So we've got two here, which almost look like uh, mirror switches. They, in fact, actually control our display up here. So if I push the right-hand one, it allows us to change the settings in the right-hand display window. Press the left one, it will move the display to the middle one. If I press left again, it will take us all the way across to the other side. So we can then decide what information we want in which windows. Um, we can also change the display altogether. So we've gone to some analog dials now. Again, it's actually displaying the same sort of information. So we've got the rev counter on the left-hand side, speedometer on the right, with a little digital speedometer at sort of in the five o'clock position. And also, um, again, the uh, speed limit here. Uh, in the middle, we've got the time and a very natty little picture of the car. Um, so there is lots of different information that can be displayed through here. We can cycle through lots of it. So we can basically have three different sorts of information displayed on this binnacle at any one time. So again, on the left now, we've got uh, the range. In the middle, we've got the sat nav screen. And again, on the right, we've got the music. So the thing that wasn't working before on the previous video was this very funky looking display. Again, this is touch sensitive, the same as the old car. Up at the top here, we've got at the clock. Over here, we've in fact, the car's in automatic climate control mode. Um, temperature, we're on fan speed three. Exterior temperature, not to be confused with the interior setting. Um, air recirculation function, um, mobile phone strength, um, and some other little icons here. So uh, the information that can be displayed on here, I'm gonna move my hand underneath, is if I press the little button of the map, we've got the sat nav screen. If I press the little button with the play, it'll take us across to the radio. So again, we'll have AM, FM, and digital. Down at the bottom here, we've got the settings for the phone. So uh, we can have up to four devices paired to the car and you can simultaneously run two phones with this. Little red icon is for our Apple CarPlay. Now with the previous car with Apple CarPlay, you actually physically needed to connect your phone to the car with a cable. This now uh, has got a conductive charging and secondly, it's hands-free Apple CarPlay. So you no longer need any cables to connect you to the car. Little picture with the uh, petrol pump takes us into the services menu. So um, all SAYATs now have a digital service history. The service history will be contained on the car's hard drive on here and can be accessed at any time. This will also take us through various settings for 
uh, things like how you want the light set up, how you want the car to lock and unlock itself. It will give you any um, safety related uh, information and tell you when the car is due to be booked in for a service. So also going back to the previous video, I mentioned that we've got the heater controls down here because we no longer have any knobs to play around with. So for example, if I wanted to change the uh, temperature on the uh, passenger side of the car, because we've got dual zone climate control, if I want to increase it, I simply run my finger across the button, and as you can see, the temperature begins to go up. So it's all touch sensitive. Again, I can change the temperature on the other side. It's all very, very intuitive. It's all very much to hand. Um, you don't need to take your hand that far away from the steering wheel, which again is going to help with safety. Everything is very, very logically laid out. The car can tell you so much information. It's, it's quite amazing. Um, if you have any questions about this, if you need uh, some more information about it, then please give us a call on 01202 627 455. Drop us an email to sspocells at snows.co.uk or go to the Snows website where you'll be able to find the contact details for your nearest SEAT branch. Look forward to hearing from you soon.